Hey guys, how's it going? Meet little Maple here. Today, I'm going to teach you guys some dog training videos. Something a little simple. I've been working with her for a little bit, so I'll show you her skills and what she knows. She's a little pit bull. A little background about Maple. We bought her from some horrible lady that said she was a, a rescue shelter, but turned out she was just breeding a bunch of parvo-ridden pits. And this pit got parvo. We spent a lot of money on her. We got her taken care of and fixed. And now she is a great little pup. Here I got some little treats here. I'm going to show you guys a few tricks that we can do. Here, Mapes. All right, so... The basic thing I'm working with her right now, Maple, she's still young, so she's still learning. I've actually only been working with her for about a week. Now, what I'm trying to teach her is to not eat food until she's towed, told. I'm sure you guys, everyone's met one of those dogs that, you know, snatch food out of your hands. If food drops, they come running and scarf it down. If you do these simple techniques, you can literally have a dog that will... You can drop steak on the floor next to and not say a word, not even acknowledge the dog or the steak being there. And the dog won't touch the steak until you tell it to. Now I'm going to demonstrate, I'm working with Maple and how you start this. First, obviously, you want to teach her sit and stay. Now, any dog who hasn't been trained, when you put a treat in front of its face, they're going to try to just snatch it out. Here, Mapes. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Come here. See, she don't want to come over because she knows the routine. She don't snatch stuff anymore. Now, watch her. Good girl. Get it, girl. Good doggy. Yeah. Now, you see how I'm putting the treat next to her face, and she doesn't even go for it until I tell her, no. Get it, girl. Good dog. Yeah. Good girl, Maple. So, after she starts to do what you want, you know, feed her the treat, and while she's eating the treat, you know, give her a little praise. Dogs like that. Come here, Maple. She can do a few other things. Come here, girl. Come here. Sit, sit, stay, no, get it girl, good girl, yeah, good dog, lay, lay down, lay, let her finish that first, lay, good girl, no, get it girl, now see, notice that even after she's done what I want her to, I'm still not going to just let her take the treat right out of my hand, she has to be told that she can have the treat. You don't want an animal snatching food out of your hands. I, there's nothing worse that I hate than that. Now, it gets a little... Shh, no. Shh, not yet. Get it, girl. Good girl. So I'm getting, teaching her to give me paw. She already does that. And then once she gives me paw, I don't let her just have the treat until I tell her she can. Now, eventually, guys, what will happen is... Good girl. Good no see how close i'm getting it to her nose i'm no it's like almost it's really enticing teaching her self-discipline get it girl good girl yeah good dog mapes so the key is is eventually i'll be able to sit these treats on her nose i'll be able to sit the treat on her nose and she won't touch it until i tell her and then the next step after that is i start laying the treat on the ground and i start to move my hand now, I don't have any treats right now. I'm not taking it that far because she's not in that stage yet. But I would literally take the treat, lay it down here, and see, now she's kind of going for it. She's still learning. I would let it go, and I would leave the treat there. The dog would acknowledge the treat on the ground. It would then, in the past, it's going to, you know, at first it's going to try to go for it, and you're going to tell when you move your hand, it's going to think it's like free range to eat it. You're going to have to teach the dog no. So when it tries to go for it, you don't allow it to go for the treat. Then, after a little bit, it starts to learn that it can't have the treat until you tell it to take the treat. Eventually, you'll be able to have steak that you can drop right on the floor. And pretty much you can just, you know, walk away. I mean, damn near it. And then when you tell the dog it's time to eat the steak, it'll eat the steak. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Tell me what you think. Give me some comments below. Subscribe if you want to learn more tips about dogs.